Hey gang, welcome back to another cool manga animation tutorial. Again, it's not gonna be animation this time, but upscaling. Most of you've asked me about upscaling manga panels. Yes, there are a lot of free websites to do that, but all of them comes under these three categories. 1. They have a paid subscription. 2. The output is not properly upscaled. 3. There's a big fat watermark. This video is not gonna be such upscaling platforms. I'm gonna reveal my biggest secret using which I upscale all my panels. And what if I told you that there are two free open source softwares to do this? Yes, you heard that right. No watermarks, no subscriptions, no signups and no ads. I'll be revealing two such softwares and the last one is which I recommend and which I personally use for my animations. So watch the video till the end. I've collected few panels from One Punch Man with which we'll be testing the upscaling quality. So this panel seems okay, but when you scale this within After Effects, you can see their faces getting blurred and the edges don't seem good. This same case can be seen in this panel as well. Let's start with the first free software, Upscale. As I said before, do you see a sign up? You probably wouldn't because these softwares are open source and there's no limit on how much you can use it. You can see how many people have downloaded this. And there's a personalized guide on how to use this as well. Well, let's go ahead and download it. According to the OS you use click the respective button. Once the download is complete, double click and run the setup. Choose the directory and simply hit install. That's pretty much it. It's that simple. Once the installation is done, just run it. This is the UI you'd see. First off, Let's select the manga panel. I've imported this panel. Now select upscaling type to fast ESR gone. You can try out the first one as well, but I personally had an error due to my low GPU. If you see here, you find an option called double upscale. It's pretty much understandable from the word. It upscales the upscaled panel. Enabling this option will give you a 16x image, which is totally not required unless you want to display your manga animation to a whole theater. Then choose the output folder. That is where the upscale panel will be saved. After that, you can check the external settings. Even though you don't need to alter anything here, I'll still explain what all of these does quickly. This option would just give particular themes to the upscale panel, not really necessary. You don't have to worry about GPU ID as well. There's a detailed documentation about it on the official GitHub of Upscale. Save image as, you can choose how the final image has to be saved. PNG usually has the best quality. Image scaling is, if you want to scale your image just up to 2K, you can do it. We want 4K, so we'll leave it at 4X. Logs is where you can check the audit of what happened if your image upscale process gets stuck or terminated for some reasons. Now that you know how this whole software is, go ahead and hit upscale. This would take one to five minutes depending on your PC and GPU. You can use this line to see how your original panel was changed to 4K. Check out how cool the output is. The edges are sharp, it's purely upscaled and the quality is 4K. Now comes the next open source software. You might wonder why I use this when the previous one is really easy. Well, the previous software uses this in the backend. You guys would have seen ESR gone in the upscale type, which is where we are. If you guys scroll through the GitHub here, the installation would look pretty complicated for non-developers. You'd need to use Python to install it. But why am I here for? I've simplified this installation for you guys. Go to my Gumroad, link is in the description and just download this ESR gone upscaler. This is the same thing from the GitHub, but I've created a batch file for you, so that all you have to do is drag and drop your panel. Everything is done by itself. Once you get this, go and download this RAR file. Place the RAR file in any folder you prefer and extract it using WinRAR or 7-Zip. That's it, the installation is complete. I'll rename this so we can differentiate both results. So here's the original panel which is of low quality. To use my batch file, just open the extracted folder you'll see a file called drag and drop. Just drag and drop the manga panel on top of the batch file. Now all you have to do is wait. The waiting time depends on your system. Better GPU equals more speed. And here we go, the final output. To be honest, the result from the upscale and the real ESR gone would be exactly same. As I said upscale uses real ESR gone. And with that, I've revealed my secret of upscaling manga panels for absolutely free. Thank you so much for your support. If you guys have any issues midway, feel free to comment down the issue and I'll try my best to help you. We've come a long way with countless tutorials and I've made tutorials on nearly every manga animation technique. 
But what if I told you? This manga panel was animated using AI. Confused? Well, that's a tutorial you wouldn't want to miss. So now you know what to do. Go and hit the subscribe button. And until next time, this is Roni, signing off.